Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to dynamically upload the images, pictures with a file upload dialog box in VBA with user forum. So let's start the tutorial. And here we've got the final output. Let's click the image file upload. Notice here, here we got the file upload uh, dialog box here and the title is a select only the JPG images. I am adding on the desktop, I have images folder which contains some JPG files. Let's add up arrow, this image I want to add here. See here, up arrow. Now down arrow, here we got the down arrow. Now right arrow, here we got the right arrow. Left arrow, left arrow. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one book one Excel sheet. Uh, now in order to create a user form, we need to go to dollar menu, click that one and the dollar there is a visual basic, click that one and here we got the Microsoft visual basic for applications. Now let's create one user form, for that go to insert from this menu bar, click insert, here we got the user form. Now here in the user forum, let me expand this user forum. Uh, now on this user forum, I am adding two controls. One is a button control. This is the command button I am adding here. In this command button, let's add the caption for this command button. Image file upload. Upload. Let's add uh, the font size. Enable font is bold 16. Okay. And make it auto size true. Now after that, I'm adding the second uh, control, which is the image control. I'm adding here. Now in this image control, let's delete this border of this image. Also select the image control. Here we got the image one properties and the image one properties. Uh, here the um, uh, border style is zero. From border style none I'm adding which is zero. Now we don't have any borders for this image control. Now my aim is when a user clicks this image file upload, I want to open a file dialog box. From that I can choose the images and that images, selected images, I want to display in this picture in this image control. So let's try the coding part for image file upload button control. Double click that one. Here we got the click event. Now the code is first we require one. Uh, variable here for that I'm declaring dim image uh, file image file upload uh, upload as a string as a string now image file upload image file upload is equals to application dot dot get open file name get open file name the get open file name takes around five parameters first one is a file filter file filter file filter column is equals to um, here i'm adding some extension the file filter will restrict the user to add certain extension file type only here for this example i'm adding the jpg file start.jpg star comma and after that i'm adding i'm adding the title also title is equals to the title is um, uh, select only the jpg images let's close the get open file method after that the selected image i want to display in the image one dot picture property takes load uh, load picture method load picture method takes the string parameter which i am adding image file upload image file upload then we need to uh, fit the image exactly the image size image control size so image one uh, image one dot um, then that picture size mode picture size mode is equals to i'm adding from picture size mode stretch that's it this is a three lines code very simple code i'm adding here let's check the final output 
and here we've got the final output let's click the image file upload notice here we have got the file upload uh, dialog box here and the title is a select only the jpg images i am adding on the desktop i have images folder which contains some jpg files let's add up arrow this image i want to add here see here up arrow now down arrow here we got the down arrow now right arrow here we got the right arrow left arrow left arrow that's it in this video tutorial i have explained in vba using user forum how to dynamically upload the images using the file upload dialog box thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial